Hi, everyone. Um, now, most of the people who are going to walk on this stage today have a nagging doubt in their minds. They're thinking, I shouldn't be here. I've got here, but those guys backstage are going to find me out because I'm not a professional public speaker. Well, that for me is true. But there's one part which is even more true. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be alive. Two years ago, I found myself in my doctor's surgery. This was, I was 17 at the time, and I'd just gotten back from an amazing holiday in Spain. I'd finished school, and I was about to start university. And the one thing I remember so well about that day was that I was looking up at the clock, and all I really wanted was a cheese and ham toasty. I mean, a cheese and ham toasty just would have hit the spot. <laughs> My doctor called me through, and we did some routine checkups, and he said, Rachel, you are looking fab. And I thought, yes, lunchtime for me. <laughs> That's when he shuffled back over to his desk, and he looked at the screen for a moment. Then he turned to me and said three little words. You have cancer. Now, I'm sure you can imagine my reaction. I was not expecting this news, and I caused a scene. <laughs> they actually had to take me out the back entrance of the hospital because they didn't want me to scare patients. <laughs> Whilst I was in hospital, I had four months in isolation, and I had three rounds of chemotherapy. Now, the chemotherapy is designed to kill as many of the nasty cells as possible, but in doing so, it also kills normal cells. So that's when your blood counts drop, and you need a blood transfusion. Whilst I was in hospital, I had over 40 blood transfusions. Now, 100% of the population could need blood, but only 4% of the eligible population donate blood. So there's 600 of you in the room. Apparently, only 24 of you are willing to actually go and give blood. So why is that figure so low? Well, there is every excuse under the sun not to just go out and do it. Um, the dog ate the letter, I think I've got a headache that day, sorry, it's not going to happen, it's raining outside, um, the Kardashians is on, I'm not missing that new episode, Kim is pregnant, that's hot gossip that I can't miss. There's so many excuses. One in four people in this room will need a blood transfusion in their lifetime. So, when you go down to the donation centre, everything they tell you is true. It doesn't hurt and you can save up to three lives with one donation. And you get a biscuit at the end. So if that doesn't persuade you, I don't know what will. <laughs> one thing they can't tell you is how much your donation means. So look at me. This is what it means. Because of every one person that took one hour out of their day to give blood, I'm alive today. And now I have my whole life ahead of me. Don't leave up to someone else because humanity and care for everybody around us, everybody in this room, it isn't just a choice, it's a purpose. And if you want proof that your donation makes a difference and is worthwhile, then here I am. Thank you.